Hello everyone. In this video, we will be learning about the Malus law through this experiment. The aim of this experiment is the, the finding the relationship between the intensity of the transmitted light through analyzer and the angle between the axis of polarizer and the analyzer. And also, we will be verifying the Malus law. It is also called as cosine square law. If we come to the theory part, uh, we know that uh, in ordinary light source in which we see in daily life, so sun, candlelight like electric bulb, bulb will be all unpolarized light. So this unpolarized light will be having electric and magnetic field vectors which will be vibrating in all the possible directions and they are perpendicular to each other and also perpendicular to the direction of the propagation of light. And if we see this unpolarized light, we have been given the ray diagram here which is directing in all the directions. Now, when unpolarized light is instant on an ideal polarizer, the intensity of the transmitted light is one half of the incident light. Also, like if you even rotate the polarizer with respect to the incident light, there will be no change in the transmitted light intensity. It will still be the half of the incident light, which we can be verified through Malus law. So now let's learn what is this polarization. Like we will be having certain materials like nickel, tourmaline, which will be having the cells arranged in a straight line manner and in one particular direction, which will make the uh, light to vibrate in one part particular plane. Such materials are called as polarites. The plane of vibration of this transmitted light will be parallel to the pa pass axis of the polarizer. The phenomenon where this light will get filtered when it passes through a polaroid is called as polarization. Now let's learn what does this Malus law says. Uh, when this polar light which get polarized will uh, pass on to the another polaroid, polaroid called as analyzer, uh, the transmitted light depends on the orientation of the axis of with the polarizer. The intensity of this transmitted light can be no, uh, got by Malus law. The Malus law states that the intensity of the transmitted light varies as the square of the cosine of the angle between the axis of polarizer and the analyzer theta. Let's say if A0 is the uh, amplitude of the plane polarized instant light and also AT is the amplitude of the light transmitted through the analyzer and this uh, it makes an angle theta with the polarizer then it is given as AT is equals to A naught cos theta which we can understand through this diagram. Say this is the amplitude of the plane of polarizer. If we split it into two components we will be getting the A cos theta A sin theta where theta is the angle made between the plane of polarizer and plane of analyzer. So that AT is equals to we will be getting A naught cos theta. Let's square it. AT square is equals to A naught square cos square theta. Now consider for theta is equals to 0 degree or 180 or 360 degree. For all those angles we will be getting cos square theta as 1. Then in that time we will be getting AT square is equals to A naught square. That means the amplitude of the incident uh, light of plane polarized will be same as the transmitted light amplitude. We all know that and intensity is directly proportional to the amplitude square. So, if we write in the terms of intensity, we will get as it is equals to i naught cos square theta. Remember that if when theta is equal to 90 degree or 180 degree, we will be getting cos square theta as 0. Then, we can say that the orientation of the analyzer is perpendicular to the plane of polarization. But, Whatever we are getting uh, the light energy through analyzer, we can't uh, calculate it directly. So, we will be converting them into the electric energy using a photo detector, which we will be going to see in the procedure. Now, let us know about the apparatus required and the procedure of this experiment. The apparatus we require is the bench mount, where we have three mounts. It is the optical bench. And we need a polarizer which produces the plane polarized light. Here we are using the red laser. And we need an analyzer 
where it can be rotated to different degrees and it is a photo detector which is going to detect the light that is being transmitted from the analyzer the photo detector is connected to the laser power meter which is going to show the intensity the amount of intensity of the light transmitted by the polar analyzer in terms of milliwatt now let us see how to do the experiment make sure that all the three the polarizer analyzer and the photo detector are in the same line and the light is in the same path and it is transmitting exactly now what we do is we have to check for the maximum trans transmittance so we take a sheet like this and we place it in between the analyzer and the photo detector and we rotate this analyzer for seeing the maximum intensity when we get the maximum intensity we note the reading of this uh, power me power meter intensity will be i not and our angle which we measure for the intensity will be our theta not now from the inter maximum intensity angle what we got we have to make the increments of 10 theta till 360 degrees and note the for each theta value we change we have to note the value of the power meter and now i have got now i have got the maximum intensity at 100 degrees now my first reading you have to make the maximum intensity at 100 that this angle is taken as zero and you are going to measure the maximum intensity and now what we do is we make a small increment that is still 10 and we keep the analyzer at that 110 degrees this will be my theta value 10 and i'll be measuring my value of the milliwatt what i get and i'll be writing now you have to make two columns where you have the angle and also you have the intensity and we are changing different distances between the analyzer and the polarizer and we are measuring the intensities till we come till we make increments from 0 till 360 degrees so let us understand about the calculation and the graph where we know that mallus law states that intensity of the transmitted light waves varies directly proportional to the square of the cosine of the angle between the axis of the polarizer and the analyzer we got a equation like at is equals to a not cos theta where at is the amplitude of the transmitted light and a not is the amplitude of the plane polarized light and we know that intensity is directly proportional to the square of the amplitude so we got a equation it is equals to i not cos square theta intensity of the transmitted light will be equal to the intensity of the incident light when the theta is minimum and this law is verified here when theta is 0 degree we get cos square theta as 1 and we get the intensity as 2.09 and as we increase the angle we observe that the intensity decreases and finally is minimum at 90 degree and we take increase the angle till 350 degree and at 360 degree it will be same as the angle that is 0 degree and we are also going to see for different distance that d is equals to 20 cm that is the distance between the polarizer and the analyzer and for 25 cm also and we observe that in a graph that when we plot intensity versus theta we see that a different distance also the graph varies in a similar way and when we see the graph between intensity and cos square theta as we know that intensity is directly proportional to cos square theta so we should get a straight line and the law is verified in this way this is the intensity uh, axis and this is the cos square theta and finally the result tells that the graph between the square of the cosine of the angle of rotation and the intensity was found to be a straight line verifying mallus law now coming on to the various applications of mallus law Mallus law describes how the intensity of polarized light decreases after passing through a second polarizer. So in case of incoming polarized sunlight uh, which is coming after reflection from various medium then polarizing filter would selectively block certain amount of light reducing the overall intensity. Then even uh, photographers use polarizing filters to reduce reflection from non-metallic surfaces such as water or glass to enhance the contrast and color saturation. thirdly in devices like uh, phones or monitors the screen adjusts the orientation of the light to control what we see 
Also, if you tilt your phone or monitor screen while wearing uh, polarized sunglasses, we might notice the screen darkening. This is due to the interaction of polarized light from the screen with your sunglasses. Another application is blue light filter in your phones or uh, spectacles which reduces the glare by filtering polarized light. Similarly, there are numerous applications which are left to you. Do explore and learn. Thanks for watching.